I've had a wild day. Pay no attention to the big gray lump behind me. <laughs> uh, things with my setup might be really wonky today. I didn't set up the gong show as well as I normally do because I had I had a morning, y'all. I had a morning, but I'm about to have a really nice afternoon. Uh, our modest I'm fellowship stream with expands. You. Ro Panda, thank you for gifting five community subs. And Al, welcome back. Thank you for the resub. Um, yeah, I had a morning uh, elbow deep in a PC. You know, you know how that goes sometimes. I feel like it never goes quite according to plan, but I'm happy to say after some troubleshooting, I think we're in a good place. You know, you never know. You never know, but fingers crossed. We're in a good place. Um, but yeah, I mean, I am there. I haven't seen y'all in a week. And I'm very excited to stream some games with you. It's Indie Game Day. It's Tuesday. So I've got a gong show ready for everybody. I'm just looking right now into the games I want to play today. Have an update. So I'm going to do that real quick while I load up the gong show software. Hey yo, like I said, I normally have this set up before we go live, but I literally just plugged everything back into this streaming PC like 30 seconds before I started the splash screen. So we're flying by the seat of our pants today. Happy first Tuesday of the month to you, Ro Panda. Appreciate you. Hi, Faith. Hi, Junior. Hi, Red Banshee. Hi, Moose. Hi, Gerald. Welcome, everybody. Mickmuck Puttywuck is here today. You love to see it. You love to see it. Oh, my goodness. An ant online just gave us a raid. Hold on to your butts indeed. Corgi, and welcome to the Raiders. Thank you. Here, wait. These party balloons are for you. Welcome to the Dragon Riders. That's the name of this community. My name is Trisha Hirschberger. I normally do tech and video game on camera presenting. Sometimes I also talk about toys, collectibles. I talk about a lot of different things. But I am like a professional talker <laughs> on the internet and sometimes TV. And on the days that I'm not on set doing that, I like to stream here on Twitch. So welcome. Once a week... Hi there, bonjour to you. Uh, what were you streaming? Tell us what you were streaming. So we can all go and check out your sweet content, Ant Online. Looks like, let me see, let me see. What were you doing today? Now I'm stalking your stuff. I mean, I love talking about computer technology. Professional talkers should be the bio now. It 100% should. But yes, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, Dragon's uh, Dogma 2. How was it? I have yet Praise to play it, sadly. I'm bouncing back and forth between Baldur's Gate 3 and Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth for my like main playthrough game. But then once a week, I do what I'm doing today, which is an indie game showcase. So I play a lot of different indie games in kind of the style of a game show where you, as the chat, get to vote via emotes whether we should keep playing a game because you like it, or whether maybe we should go ahead and ring this gong and move on to the next one. So if you don't like the game, you can vote to gong it. If you need instructions on how to vote in chat, you can use command gong or command gong vote in chat, and it will tell you which emotes to use. Tank, you just came from a 3D Realm stream. Nice. And Eardol, thank you so much for gifting some subs to this community. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Well, Ant Online, uh, I super appreciate the raid. Come Again, I hope you have a wonderful yourself. rest of your day. Thank you for trusting your army. community here. Choo choo, indeed. Um, oh, Julio Kaiser, you got Horizon Forbidden West on Steam and you've been playing it for the last week. I love it. I still want to test out. Once I get all my PC goodness, including the secret PC that's covered with a blanket behind me. Uh, once I get all that up and running, I want to do some like hardcore spec tests, right? On Horizon, on a bunch of different stuff. So yes, thank you for the raid. Thank you folks for the hype train. Thank you for the gift sub bombs. And thank you for the positivity. Like I said earlier, I was elbow deep in a PC all morning. <laughs> dealing with some troubleshooting uh issues so it's exciting to just be here and relax and play some games now 
Uh, Syphilis, is that really your Twitch name? Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't call Linus to fix anything. No, I fix it myself. I'm a DIYer. I like that. I like that better. I like to know what I've spent all my money on and be able to fix it myself. Not everybody's like that, and that's totally cool. That's just my personality type for better or for worse. Uh, yes, Red Banshee, I've been hinting at it for a while, but I've been working on this build that I did in 2019. I've been working on slowly upgrading this into something new. But as always, it's like a multi-part process, right? Like I don't have just like three days off straight to do that. So I have to break it up between half days here and there. But eventually, it will be ready to showcase and use. Uh, I do see a stretch reminder. FPS 1986. Thank you so much for the stretch reminder. I get you. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, well, like I said, today's a gong show. We have a lot of real fun stuff to show off, so we better get right to it. And as soon as we're done the gong show today, I'm going to mess around with that buddy back there a little bit more. <laughs> That's my day today. Overall, a good day. Messing with new PC gaming tech is one of my faves. One of my faves, especially, I don't know, it's extra satisfying when you're like, what is this error? And then you figure out what it is. It's like a real nice, oh, good job, me. It's like solving a really hard crossword puzzle or something. I don't know. It's very, feels real good. Feels real good is what I'll say about that. Okay, so with that being said, my friends, let's go ahead and do the thing. So the first game that I want to feature today is... Dun, 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 dun. Boop. Is of Life and Land. That one right there. I'm just trying to make sure I got all my stuff going. I switched it over a little early so you get to see my beautiful desktop, and that's okay. Have I gotten more into Thaumaturge? Uh, I have not had time, but I would like to. I'm actually thinking about making it uh, a new plane game on the ROG Ally. Oh, syphilis says, except when you spend like three hours and it's a ram stick that's just not seated properly or a cable. Yeah, my three hours this morning was the latter of the two things that you suggested. Just, you know, it just needed to be, uh, to be jiggled a little differently. That sounds wrong, but you know what I mean. Okay, here we go. Of Life and Land my friends. Of Life and Land is developed by Kurzavin, whose Twitter handle is just over here, if you'd like to see it. Published by Metaroot and launched into early access as of today. Congrats on your early access launch of Life and Land. Of Life and Land is a charming settlement building strategy game paired with a rich simulation experience. Every animal and plant tries to find their place in nature while you lead your villagers to their future. Expand to different regions and trade with local factions to gain needed resources. Now in this game we'll get to manage the acquisition, refining, and distribution of resources on multiple maps in different climactic conditions, as well as the needs of citizens. Pay attention to the seasons and the climates, and it has a charming and calm low poly art style. I want to make sure y'all can hear it. it's a little quiet for me. Is that better for you? I love all the getting jiggy with it comments. Just a little wiggle sometimes, you know. Um, with all that being said, the voting is now open for Of Life and Land. Let's go ahead and check it out. Hello, Jofo. Welcome. Okay. And is that VO and I just can't hear it? No, no VO. So fast that space soon becomes scarce. Real division leaves heirs without land and property. Oh, look, she's crying. Miso twin, welcome back. But we still have room here. This is our chance. I did not go to the wedding, Das, but I'm excited for them. In case those of you who don't know, he's talking about the Shane Courtney wedding. 
How much in Twitch bits do I need to make Trish Mondays happen on Good Day Internet? You know what? Anytime they have a Monday open, I'm happy to be there. Mondays are usually my office work days when I do bookkeeping and that kind of stuff. Bookkeeping, meetings, invoicing, etc. Um, so Mondays are a good day for me to go on Good Day Internet. See what I did there? Okay. Now let's check this baby out. Continue. Start a new game with Perzevin. Ah, good that you are here. I sent for you because I have an important task for you. The situation in the southern part of the empire is steadily worsening due to rapid population growth. It becomes more and more difficult for the common people. Farms are cut smaller and smaller because of the division of inheritance, while taxes remain the same or even increase. New land can only be gained to limit to limited extent by clearing or by developing less optimal areas, even among the nobility, there are more and more descendants who are not entitled to inherit. We are Kurzavan, one of the largest estates in the empire. We still do not have large cities and productive villages and are therefore insignificant. I would like to change that. I send you north. Explore the region. Be wise and see that the people lack nothing. This way, new settlers will join you, and if you are open and decent to them and their customs, they will stay. Build a community center to consolidate your position in the region, but also take care of your supplies, because the summer is quickly over. Good luck. I'm counting on you. I like this without little Wolfie. He's cute. Oh, look at this. I just want to see. Oh, some wheat. We got a friendos working on wheat, maybe? I don't know. Welcome. Basic controls. Yes. Pretty pretty similar. Uh, constructing. Basics. What do I need to construct for people? Oh, here. Okay, I was missing over. Here's the actual tutorial. Rotating the camera, just as one would think. Constructing buildings. Open the building menu. Rotate the buildings. Uh... Buildings have different entries and exits. The white arrows show where they are located. Rotate the buildings with the R key. So let's see. A gatherer shack, a forester's stump, a simple stonemason, and a fishing place. Let's do a gatherer shack. Uh, now which of these things? Oh, I guess they're all highlighted. What could gather? Um, it looks like there's a lot to gather over here. So maybe we'll rotate this way. Okay, trying to make it green and is, I guess that's good. Okay, made a building. Uh, forester's stump needs trees or bushes in its surroundings. So let's do a forester's stump. Trees or bushes. Trees or bushes? I mean, there's... Are these bushes? No, that's like wheat. I don't want to put that there. Uh, should I put that like here? I guess that looks okay. Then we need a gather... Okay, gather a shack is being built. also need a simple stone mason and a garden bed. How do I make the garden bed? Mm. Okay, I think people just need to gather all that. Uh, let's see. Maybe I just need to speed things up. Simple stonemason. Nothing interesting within reach. That's only got one stone. Where are the stones? Do I need to like put it up here? There are not many stones. Here, I guess, are the stones. But only like 10 of them, huh?
Water filtration is more important, maybe by the walls. Oh, 11 stones right there. Okay, I'm gonna put it there for 11 stones. Okay, Forester Stump has one out of one workers. They're doing their thing. I think I just need to speed it up a little bit. Uh, for those of you still talking about the Shane Courtney wedding, it's hilarious to me that they announced it on April 1st and now everybody thinks it's a scam or an April Fool's prank. Okay, construction site. Optional workers vacant. I guess we could hire somebody. Yeah, automatically fill when vacant. Same here. This is good, I guess. Gather a shack. A garden bed. How do I make the garden bed? What's it say? Open the building menu, place the desired construction. Build menu. Campfire, straw hut, mud street. I don't see the garden only be in here. Oh, here's where I can. Grass, bush, cactus, wheat field. Garden bed! Creates a new garden bed. Where do I want to put it in here, though? Do I need to make it bigger? I mean, near the gathering here, so... Alright, maybe we'll just leave it with that. speed things up. Let's see if I can speed it up while we're doing our business. Time. Change speed. There we go. Up here. You have returned. Okay, look, you can see the water's going faster now. Vegeta! Thank you for the resub. Welcome back. I love all the people saying it's definitely a joke. You know what? Kudos to Shane and Courtney. Like I said, for announcing it on April Fools. I don't know what I'm allowed to say, but I will just tell you, as someone that knows a whole lot of people in YouTube, a lot of people keep their private business out of the prying eyes on purpose until a certain point. Like, I didn't tell anyone about my relationship with Nate while we were dating. I didn't tell anyone until we were engaged. So, like, if you had a relationship you didn't want people to know about, and then you were like, well, we're married, I guess we might as well tell people now. That would make sense. That's all I'm going to say about it. Alright, let's see. We're still waiting for these other things to be built, and I don't know why they're not getting built. One out of one workers is fine. I've got one out of one workers on this construction site. Where the heck are they? Yeah, anyone can help build stuff without being assigned. Is it because everyone's gathering? Or let's see. What are they working on? Can I... Uh... Woo! Congratulations to Kurzabin and Metaroot on your win for Of Life and Land. And you know what? 
The folks at Of Life and Land were nice enough to give me some giveaway keys as well for this community. So let me just go ahead and get that ready for you. Giveaways. If you want to enter to win the giveaway, as always, subs are twice as likely to win. And the keyword today is of life. Two separate words, of life, type of life in chat. Oh, victory button. Yep, of life. Just type of life in chat if you would like to be entered for a chance to win of life and land. And as always, subs have twice the subscriber luck to win. Okay, now let's see. It's, oh, things are finally being built. All right, we've got a gatherer shack here. Let's just look at some of our stats. Number of days the stored food is expected to last. Not a lot, so I'm actually gonna slow us back down to one time. Let's see the employees at the gatherer shack. I would like to hire Luca to work there. Okay. Changing names. Click on the name of your settlement to change it. Valley. Let's call it Dragon Valley. Okay. A roof over their head. We need some straw huts to protect us from the weather. Gather a shack horse. Okay. I didn't build a fishing place. I should probably do that still. Probably want lots of surface water. Or could I do it down here? That's seven times surface water. I mean, it's gonna be easier if I do it this way, but yeah, that's the move. How do people get up there though? Five times, eight times. All right, we're gonna put it right there. Uh, I also want to build a straw hut for my people. They need a house, man. Maybe some, like, riverfront property could be nice, huh? How many people does the... Oh, the straw hut house is ten, which is how many I have. So that's pretty cool. Let's do it. Watching the shadows grow is mesmerizing me. It's nice, right? We'll put it right here for right now. We're still, what's going on with our food? We've got mushrooms, bread, roots. We don't have a lot of fruit. Fodder, drinks, materials, and equipment. Okay, so that's gonna get built eventually. Let's make Stefan build the house. Takes a while to get the right materials though. I see, I see. But yeah, we're just building some nice stuff over here. In our little village of life and land. Oh, I could do upgrades. Storage plus 50. That could be nice. The yearly cost is 10 raw wood. Do I have that? I have a lot of grass stored. Harvesting grain. Getting fruits, getting vegetables, harvesting roots, harvesting grass. Yeah, there must be like no fruits to grab or something. Okay. I need more people. Looks like we're just coming out of winter into spring though in the game. 
people like that. Does the town get attacked at night? I hope not. I need to put buildings on stilts. Let's see, so that's my gatherer shack, construction site. Where was my... What is this? Food crates and such. Oh, the forester stump is here. Cut down trees. Collect branches and collect mushrooms. I've only got one person there. I don't know if it's just going super slow or what. It's not that we don't have enough storage space available. Collection speed could be good. Carry space or processing speed. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't update anything yet until the straw hut's done. What is that? What was that saying? Getting some branches, but also spending some branches? We'll see if there's a devastating flood soon. There's achievements. Faction data. Is everybody working? I think they are. I don't want to freeze or burn to death. Yeah, no duh. Uh, people are homeless and they're pretty sad about that. I know, I'm trying to make this for you. I can see where everybody's working. Maybe I should give them some roads. A mud street could be good. Oh, but it's gonna take them a bit to get that going, huh? I do like the soothing music though. some streets here, although. There's my faction data. People are generally pretty healthy. What's going on with Erica? She's not working. What, is she a child? That's the only excuse, Erica. Nor is Vincent. Is this your age, maybe? I mean, if Vincent's 14, I kind of get it. Okay, three people working there. Matilda's working there. Stefan is supposedly working there. Still, it takes forever to prep these buildings, I tell you what. What's going on with that fishing hut? Passive feeding for 10 branches. Oh, I, I want to get like real deep into this. But I know we won't have enough time today. But I like this. I like this one a lot. And I'm not the only one that likes this. Y'all liked it too. Uh, let's go ahead and do that giveaway. To everyone that entered the giveaway, if you didn't enter the giveaway, all you need to do is type of life, OF space L-I-F-E into chat to be entered for a chance to win. Of life, and you'll be entered for a chance to win this game. But yeah, we still want that straw hut to be we're just, we're just waiting on it. Here, I'm going to speed up time a little. Five times. Fishing stuff. Make a house. Make a house. Things happen very slowly. Three hundred times. Woo! Look at that. Wait, three hundred times, and the house still wasn't built. Okay, thank goodness. 
Now what? Protection from the cold and the weather. We need firewood using the building menu to find out how to produce firewood. Raw wood. Raw wood. How do I make firewood? Simple oven. Not fences and walls. Rudimentary tailoring table. Baker simple oven and bake bread. Hand mill. Build a small place to process wood. A sawing place. So I guess that needs to be maybe near the forester's stump. Put that there. How my people doing? Okay. They like their house. Frostpunk is a little depressing. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I chose to make the kiddos work. It was like, do I want everyone to survive? Then I have to do child labor, I guess, which is not a fun place to be. But that's Frostpunk, not of life and land, which so far is very lovely. I know, monster. Monster, I didn't want all my people to freeze to death, okay? You gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, all right, then. <laughs> the winners in today's giveaway are Bigger on the Inside. Congratulations. I'm gonna send you your winning game code right now. Huzzah. Yay. Bigger on the Inside. There is your game code. Our next winner is Chicago. Chicago, congratulations. Sending you your game code now, my friend. Mm -hmm. And I've got one more code to give away. Again, huge thanks to the dev team for giving me some extra codes for the community today. I appreciate you. Our final winner of the day is Rob. Rob, congratulations. Here we go. Gotcha. Okay, everyone check their Twitch whispers. You should have gotten your giveaway codes. And congrats again to Of Life and Land on your gong show win today. All right, the next game that I have to feature today, on X, this is a demo, not currently available on Steam. Uh, it's a demo that was featured at GDC this year. And since I was not able to go to GDC this year, the press team was kind enough to get me a copy of the demo to showcase to all of you here on the gong show. So here we go. This next game, mm -mm, let's see if it even has a Twitch category yet. It may or may not. We shall see. Yes, congrats to all the winners. All right, the next game we are going to check out, like I said, was shown at GDC this year. It's called Rooster, developed and published by Sticky Brain Studios and planning to launch in Q1 of 2025. So we're almost a whole year away from launch. This is a heartfelt, story-rich, casual puzzle adventure celebrating the best of ancient Chinese culture. Explore an exquisitely hand-drawn world with delightful surprises from cooking, finding hidden objects, paper crafting, and more. Guide Rooster in an emotionally rewarding tale about family and love. This was developed by a multicultural team celebrating and supporting each other's heritage. It's got a Chinese brush painting art style and... They tout themselves as having accessibility as a cornerstone of game design, not an afterthought. With all of that said, the voting is now open, and let's go ahead and check out Rooster. Oh, I love that our mouse is a little chicken foot. 
return. It's so cute. One lunar New Year's Eve, as was their custom, the Zodiac animals gathered for a delightful celebration. The clothes are pretty, but the style is definitely on the older side. I don't hear anything yet, so it might be a quiet game so far. Oh, there it is. Page turn. It's as if cars are nowhere to be found. For an older building, the paint looks so fresh. The pottery looks a little basic. Where's the pavement? I haven't seen those instruments in years, maybe even centuries. Okay. Is it like a, a hunt and click game or? Okay, I can also use W, A, S, and D to control the rooster. This instrument is called a rattle drum. Twist it so the beads attached by the string hit the drum. Okay. Scholars were an elite social group in ancient China. Hair ornaments are among some of the oldest Chinese jewelry discovered. Ah, don't get too cocky now. I see what you did there, catnip. Oranges are a lucky fruit. The Chinese word for orange sounds like the word for wealth. Ancient Chinese instruments included pipes, papayas, cymbals, flutes, and drums, and this just fell on my head. Dear Rooster, if you're reading this, I have sent you back to ancient China. The human baby boy in front of you is named Little Dove. I am confident that his family and the other zodiac animals can help guide your life-changing journey back to your correct time. Faithfully yours, Dragon. Gah! This isn't a dream after all. Aw, Little Dove. We received so much. Let us share our good fortune with some of our less fortunate neighbors. You are always so kind-hearted, my love. Okay, can I pick that up? No, it just hit my head. Um, Chinese paper lanterns were first used in 206 BCE. We're having tea. Tea culture has flourished throughout China as far back as before 2000 BCE. This almost pure white Chinese porcelain is often called zingware. This style of pottery is known as sankai, three colored. This woman's wide brimmed hat with attached veil is called a waimao, is that how we say it? Dante, we're a rooster for sure. Kites originated in China as early as 475 BCE. Okay, what am I missing here? Oh, there's like a little mouse? Rat, come back! Rat will tell me what to do. No, wait, Rat is mad at me. Or I'll take a break and think about what to do. Um, Rat will tell me what to do? I don't know. Rat will tell me what to do. No, wait, Rat is mad at me. I know what will smooth things over, a gift basket. Rat loves to get presents. And what kind of monster doesn't love a gift basket? I'm going to do that. Oh, okay, now we need to come up with a gift basket for Rat. I don't think Rat wants any lobster. What would Rat like? Do, is there cheese? Are those figs? Um, I don't know what some of this is. Garlic, ginger, fruits. I mean, there's a lot here. Oranges are lucky and mean wealth. Oh, okay. What's that? Pork belly. Potato. Loose rice. Oh, rat might like sausages. Chinese sausage. Can I... Uh, do I have to, like, put it in this basket, maybe? No? Shrimp? 
Clam, butter, oh, tofu. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do next. Oh. Oh, I'm just doing a combo of things. Oh, I got to find all the stuff that's hidden. All right, I'm just going to get some good stuff. I got a nice combo going. So are these things like disappearing as I'm finding them? I kind of hope that they are. Uh, not yet. I still got to get more stuff for the... Uh, pork belly fish. That, that. Ring the doorbell? No, not yet. Uh, where's the, like, other stuff? I'm just cleaning out this kitchen for rat. This is a gift basket, y'all. Okay. I feel like I've gotten a lot of this stuff, though. Tea? Am I almost out of time? Some background music would be nice. I concur. Hmm. I'm not a fan of hidden object games really either. Oh, here, they're just hiding in here. I didn't realize that this was. I'm hoping that I'm getting them now, all now. Purple flowers are on there. Um, yeah, I don't know what else. Did we get everything? I definitely got some of this already. There's one. Oh, here, there's more here. Hidden in here. Oh, there's that butter. All right, I only have a little bit left, y'all. Where are other drawers or like things we could open? Look in the bowl. Yeah, good call in the bowl. The gray potato. Where could we find the broccoli? Yeah, we, it looks like we still need to find six items. I agree. Shelf top. Um, yeah, that looks like the broccoli, right? Oh, maybe I just need to do it like double or triple click it. Oh, there was something else. Just kind of hiding in there. That one. I thought we already clicked on it earlier. That does not look like broccoli. Oh, come on. It's watercolor broccoli. Oh, there we go. 
Found something hidden there. We got two more. A gray tater. That's definitely one of them. I think I found some great stuff for rat. Now it's time to arrange the basket. All right, I guess we didn't need all of them. It's a very extensive list. Rat's going to eat real well tonight. Oh, I got to put them in there now. Okay. I mean, this is quite the gift basket. Hello, rat. Hello, rooster. How's it going with your task list from Dragon? It's going. Uh, hang in there. Here, this is for you. A token of our friendship and as an apology for my past behavior. Thank you very much. I can see that you spend time and care assembling this lovely basket for me. You've learned what it means to put another person's needs ahead of your own. Here. Take this small pot of sticky tree sap. You may find it useful in the uh, near future. Thank you. Do you want me to help you take this in for you? No, I got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right, we'll rack up. <coughs> Little Dove, now 65 years old, loves to spend time with his grandchildren. But the smallest one is mischievous, always getting into trouble. According to the Zodiac, snakes are the eye of the storm, able to hold their ground and calmly think of solutions. Well, most of the time. Hello, snake. No time to talk. Need baby focus. Help me. Tell me what to do. How to play. Throw a ball uh, to choose a body shape for the snake. Um, that one? Keep baby safe. Keep snake safe, too. There is a best choice a good choice, and a bad choice. STS says music playing, I'm back in. Quickly, before baby falls in with the fish. All right, I'm trying to lower the music here for you. Uh, okay, baby won't fall in now because snake is blocking it. <laughs> Now where's baby going? Um, ow, sorry snake. Dude. Okay, I guess I lost because I hurt snake. I liked the choice I did here for the baby playing. Ugh. Oh, I guess the snake got hurt that way, too. Baby, get out of the way. Snake got hurt again. Possible. Sorry, Snake. If it's you or Baby, though, I'm gonna choose Baby. Let's do this one. I'm not cut out for childcare. Miso Twin says, this is a terrible child. Baby, no, don't bother the sculptor. Uh, lasso, baby. Excellent. All right, folks, we've got about a minute left on our playthrough of Rooster for today, so get in your votes in either direction. If we don't have a full win or a full gong, Rooster will get an honorary gong show gong before moving on with the showcase. Stay out of the pedal. Washing machines don't exist yet. Oh, baby's still in the puddle. Let's not do that. Oh, then we'd have to start all over. This game requires a very particular move. All right, let's see if I can get a better option.
let's do, I guess maybe this one, just to see what happens. No, thank you, baby. Nope, that was not it. That was not it. All right, folks, this has been our 15-minute showcase of Rooster from Sticky Brain Studios, shown at GDC this year. While not a full gong show win or gong show gong, after 15 minutes, it is undecided, meaning that Rooster gets an honorary gong show. Gong. Folks, if you want to follow more about Rooster, it does have a Steam page available. And again, that is expected to launch in Q1 of 2025. All right. Let's get our next game fired up here. And this is one that we may or may not have covered on the gong show before a long time ago. I didn't remember it, but we covered a game of the same name. So it might just be that it's a diff or same name. So see what you think. See if it looks familiar to you. But I was like, I don't remember that at all. So we're covering it. Oh, it looks like Elbel is also playing of Life and Land. Nice. Fan Kulo, thank you for the resub and happy one year subversary, my friend. All right. This game is getting ready to go. The next game we'll be featuring today is called the Acolyte Wastelands, of the Altar. Thousands of gods lived in an unsteady peace. Their domains carved into caves or nestled in canopies. Humanity came, and with them, desire. People formed pacts with spurned gods in exchange for magics, becoming the first acolytes. These spurned gods became known as the patrons. They swelled with human drive and sought a rightful domain of their own. A great test of strength followed, leaving only three. The Sylvans of Haru. The Empiricists of Nest. and the Ravagers of Lone. Each seeks to be the sole ruler, but their abilities are too evenly matched for any one to lay claim. Now, colossal beasts walk the ravaged land, and the Acolytes hunt their power to tip the scales. Hmm. One will offer these sacrifices to their patron, and the world will be forever changed. At the foot... ...of the altar. Of the altar! There it is, my friends. Comlisk says, we did cover it. I added it to my wish list after we covered it before. I don't know why I didn't remember it, but it was like, someone had said to me, it's like a Shadow of the Colossus inspired type thing. And I'm like, ooh, well, anything that says Shadow of the Colossus, I'm into. And yeah, it says continue, so I wonder if we have a game file from before. We must. But it just came out March 25th by the way. Developed and published by Black Kite Games. Just launched on March 25th. Uh, and it says, Hunt through the wastelands for colossal beasts in this roguelike deck builder. Beware, each beast becomes enraged as you fight, unlocking new abilities to consume your creatures or counterattack your spells. Carve profane gifts from these behemoths and grow stronger to save your patron. Well, folks, since we did already cover this, I feel like it should be ineligible for voting today because it was eligible for voting before. Um, and so, uh, I'm just gonna play a little bit of it so we can all remember what it is, but yes, since this was covered, I believe, in June of last year, it got its voting then. So let's go ahead and check it out just real quick. This is my deck now, but yeah, it just came out. I'm going 
going to replay this. Just to remember. Gain one borrowed life or spend all remaining mana to gain plus one plus one for each spent. I mean, let's do that. I don't have enough mana. Can I play that? Oh, here. You look positively flimsy. Let me give you some tips. You brought a cute little guy with you. Right click to check him out. Creatures can attack the turn they're summoned. Okay, this feels very like Magic the Gathering Light. When you loot a new card, a tiny disciple is sadly replaced from your deck. Yellow attack gem. That's how much damage he does when he attacks. Health is the red gem. Blue gem is his mana cost. Okay. See so your mana pool here. Have some extra mana I stole from the last acolyte. Okay, so we're going to play that. And now it's a 5-5. Five, five. Creatures can attack this turn they're summoned. Creatures summoned closest to your face. Okay, so they're all going to go this way to this way. We can't set them in another order. Out of mana, so let's see what you got. Smack me hard. Drag your creatures to the attack row and then hit the big button to attack. But these were both summoned, so they have summoning sickness, which is the exact name for it in magic. That means you have to end your turn and let me go next. End turn. Beast turn. Oh, I remember this. This is how it becomes more powerful each turn. Piercing gaze messed you up good. Did you see your life plummet? Oh, come on. By one? Chill out, sir. For real, pick up your creatures and drag them. Your mouse can carry multiple creatures at once. Can I drag them? Hmm. How could I leave them behind? But I just want to drag stuff. But it won't let me let go of this. I don't remember! But anyway, we've covered this before. Dante says we definitely played this before. Yeah, okay, we played it in June of 2023. Uh, and I have so many games to cover today that since we've covered this one already and it's not eligible for voting, what I'm going to say is if you want to check out Acolyte of the Altar from Black Kite Games, you can now do that because it just launched on March 25th. So feel free to follow the devs if this looks like your cup of tea and check it out on Steam. Uh, and Kamos says maybe you bugged it and it stuck the card to your mouse. I think that might be the, quase, the case. So we're just going to chill while we're ahead on that one and move on to our next game. This next one looks absolutely wild, by the way. Okay, let me get this next one ready. All right. Kamos says, I recommend it to anyone who does like roguelike deck builders and wants something different than Slay the Spire. That's great. And I still love Slay the Spire, honestly. All right, the next game we're checking out today is called Bears in Space. Bears in Space is developed by Broadside Games, published by Raven's Court, and just launched March 22nd. Congrats on your launch. There is a free demo on Steam for anyone who wants to check it out, and here's what I know about it thus far. Unleash your inner bear in this over-the-top bullet hell FPS. Embark on a zany retro-futuristic adventure and destroy oil-thirsty robots with an outrageous arsenal. Transform into a bear, wield unique powers, and embrace the absurd fast-paced action of bears in space. It features non-stop high-energy gameplay, find and consume honey pots to transform your bear and unlock special skills, and modify your difficulty with independent sliders for incoming and outgoing damage so all skill levels can jump into the gameplay. I love that! That's super cool. Got a little epilepsy warning there. 
Bears in Space has been in production over the past seven years by a core team of three developers. Our small team has worked hard over that time to bring you the game you're about to play, and we're proud of what we have accomplished. We hope you enjoy the wacky adventure that is Bears in Space. With all that said, the voting is now open. Let's give it a go. Level SS for sign. Okay. Platforming difficulty normal. Combat space renaught marine. Captain or recruit. I see, so you have here your outgoing and incoming damage multiplier. So I'm gonna not mess with it right now. Respawn mode. You still take damage, but instead of dying, you simply respawn nearby. No. Let's go with the defaults. That is a terrifying image. That is a terrifying image. And I hear you that the music's a little loud, so I'm going to turn it down. Unbearable, says Eardle. Okie dokie. Brandon, that's what today's all about. New games that are interesting. Here we go. I like the music, I'm not gonna lie. Man, those space traffic jams. You know how those bears like their pigments, so it makes it way. Okay. Oh, it's me. It's you first person. Have returned. What can I click on? Retirement today. I love my like nineties bedding. Fair tips. Lance Captain Admiral Atoms, you're required on the bridge at once. There's been a whoopsie. There's been a whoopsie. All right. Prepare for the bear scare. Bridge. Whoa. Caution, slippery floor of banana peels. I slipped on my butt. Hi, Iridian. Med Bay. Okay, I got a large health. That helps me from my slippage. Bridge. Do I have to get into the escape pod? Okay, going up to the bridge. Warning, exposition prison ahead. Beyond this point is filled to the brim with bears prone to exposition. Bears that have a compulsion to overindulge in a hearty and comprehensive description or explanation of an idea or theory. Be warned that if provoked, exposition will take place. For how long, it is not defined. But what is defined is that exposition will begin with an unknown endpoint. You have been warned. See above. Okay. Wait, what's in these cages? Um, I don't know. What did we capture? Oh! Ah! 
What's happening? Hey, that's the famous space astronaut, Captain Maxwell Adams. He's just one mission away from retirement. After the events that unfolded on Klaxion Delta, where Max had to make the soul-destroying decision between the unimaginable and the unthinkable, High Command made the decision that his time was up and assigned him to this prison transport ship, the SS Ursine, as a final send-off. They believed he was past his prime and a long way from his gun-slinging, blaster-tossing, plasma-hurling younger self. But I expose to you, Trevor, if push comes to shove and they teamed up into a stronger force of motion and wish to wage a battle against Max, well, even at his advanced age and with his traumatic past, I'd still bet on him because the bookies are only paying negatives. Okay. Rawr! Rawr! Hey, Max, it's me, Theodore, and this is Paddington. Sorry to wake you from your afternoon nap. We've just been going over our whoopsie projections when we were interrupted by an unknown ship firing on us. Oh, no. And now it's become extremely important that we don't delay in considering the forecasts for our strategic blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. So what do you think, Max? Do you agree with our whoopsie prevention plan? Explosion sound. Alarm's going off. It says safe but super boring hyper quickness or experimental dangerous hyper quickness. Oh, bother. That was a big one. This is General Cuddles of the Bear Mother Alliance. Your ship holds imprisoned citizens loyal to our cause. And one loose unit. What? Rawr. He gave a thumbs up. Release those bears in space immediately or you will be destroyed. Ah! We haven't had enough time to implement and test our whoopsie prevention strategy. You have ten minutes to comply. Ten minutes. Appreciate the laser beams. We're a scientific prison ship. We have no weapons. We must jump to hyper quickness. Pressing the button is usually my job, but I'm never so scared. We are doomed. Rawr. Rawr. Experimental dangerous hyper quickness. Duh. Paladin says this game is my kind of absurdity that I love. You woke up, sleepyhead. It's me, Bertana. But you can call me BT for short. Bertana! That dangerous hyperquickness jump we made plunged us deep into an unknown galaxy and it merged our DNA together. Pretty neat, huh? We can chat about that later if you really want. But for now, we gotta get out of here. The ship is real beat up. Let's take that emergency exit and make our way to the escape pod. Okay. There's honey pots in there. And a picture. Making our way to the escape pod. Left control is crouch. Okay. Kill it first if it was up to me. Get in close and attack it in the back like a bear. Unsuspecting and defenseless. Yep, that's the bear code. Use the melee button to take it out, Maxi. <laughs> Phew, All right. That was a close one, Max. Let's make our way to the drop pods. Bear Tana is so funny. Dang it, there's more of them. I quickly shoot them in the back before they notice we're here. It was either
the hustle then, Maxi. Glad you followed the bear code. No time to waste. Looks like we're gonna have to fight our way through to the drop pod. Yeah. <laughs> Find our way through the drop pod. Boop. Woo! Somebody exploded that. Somebody wasn't me. Okay, looks like there's some health on the floor down here. Maybe should I go up here? Yeah, press the button. Ooh, trading card, Bermada. Moving on through. Through the vents. Oh boy. Okay. Oh no. I was hoping that would explode him, but it did not. Got that one. Can't go that way. That way's locked. Phew, we made it, Maxi. It got a bit hairy for a second, but I think we're in the clear now. Really, the nerve of those bots getting in our way. The noise. Nope, you're right, Max. They would want us not to save them. Okay, let's get out of here. Max! Max! Wait for me! Oh, you're alive. There's no room. Bye! Yikes. Let's roll. We're so mean. Bears in space, title card. There we have it. I am. I'm getting my bearings straight. I barely broke a sweat. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. This art is so ridiculous. You'd buy merch from this game, Rob? Oh, ship health. Now we're like super retro in the controls. That's hilarious. What now? Is this how we like travel in between worlds or something? Oh, I want to collect that, but... Oh, there we go. This That's better for me. Now I've got even more. Loving this. Just doing the spray and pray. While dodging bullets. Warning, crash landing imminent. No! Safe landing, disembark. Okay. You can select which weapons can be switched to in the heat of combat when you run out of ammo. Open the gun decks and toggle between can be auto-selected to disable auto-switching to weapons you don't like. should drive next time. All right, Maxi, take everything you think you know about bears and forget it. Max, let me tell you a little something about bears. Fact number 72, we don't take fall damage. These puns are unbearable. Fact number 38, we can dash. 
Okay, that's the level dash. Fact number 15. We can double jump. Can we double jump? There we go. It's a little wonky, the double Fair jumping. Fact number 503. We can double jump and dash while in the air. Okay. Okay. Making our way through. Oh, look at that big building, Max. I reckon our way off this rock is gonna be that away. Okay, go to the big building. Don't step in the green stuff, is my guess. We gotta get over there. Bear fact number five. Acid legs hurt you. Avoid them. Okay, we opened a little door there. Are there any other collectibles we need to get? Nothing there. Okay, I guess we're just going through that door. Well, Spendo then. Well, items of bad honor. The man bear extraordinary. Thanks for taking care of all the riffraff out front. And let me be the first to say, welcome to Zoltopia. Now I know what you're thinking. What's a handsome bot like me doing on a scrap hole mining planet like this? Well, let me tell you, I'm a bot of many talents. Most of those talents revolve around Vic Bucks. You see those crates over there? They're filled with Vic Bucks. Break them open as you come across them, then bring the riches inside to me, and I'll provide you with guns and ammo. But not just any lousy guns, no sorry bots. Upgradable guns. You know, guns that upgrade. I'm a little low on stock currently, still waiting for my shipment to come in. But for now, how about this scatter gun? It's on the house. Thanks. <laughs> on the house scatter gun. Uh, now what? Hey, that was my favorite barrel. <laughs> Can we talk to him? Scatter, scatter laser, instantly hit, instant hit laser scatter gun. Great for close range. But how do I get through this door? You know what? It doesn't matter because we've reached the end of our extra playthrough. Although Rob says shoot him. No, I can't shoot him. I thought maybe that would open the door. There's got to be a button somewhere, right? Otherwise, I'd be stuck in this room. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. But, folks, that is the end of our extra playthrough of Bears in Space. A gong show winner today. Big congrats to Broadside Games and Raven's Court. <laughs> On your gong show win. Oh, I didn't buy the scatter gun. That's why. Okay, here. Let's just see what it looks like. And don't forget, this baby upgrades the more you use it. So get out there and blast some bots. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Definitely more effective at this. Better the more you use it. All right. That was it. All right, folks. Again, big congrats to Bears in Space on the Gong Show win today. All right. Next up is a game called Necrosmith 2. And while I get that loaded up, I'm also going to run downstairs real quick and get a drink of water because I'm parched and I want to take care of my voice. So I'm going to get that loaded up. You grab yourself a snack or something to drink and I'll see you back here in just un momento. Por favor. I got my water. I'm very happy. Ridian says shout out to the new Trish glasses as well. Thank you. I don't have them on today. I have on the teal glasses today. But at least now I have options. All right. Um, so Necrosmith 2 does not want to play nice right now with my PC. 
So give me a chance to force close it and then restart it. We'll see what happens. HK Lovecraft says, ooh, I've been curious about the Necrosmith games for a while. Yeah, for whatever reason right now, Necrosmith 2 seems to be having a real issue with my display, with my ultra-wide display. It's having a, it's having a moment. So I'm trying to see if I can get control of things back. Is a necrosmith a necromancer blacksmith? Maybe. I like this. I can tell you what I know about it while we're kind of waiting for it to... to do its thing. Let me see. If I have a better hold of it here. I do not. Uh, I could just control all believe while I tell you about it. Mm, although, of course, it wants to run a Windows update if I restart the PC. Ho-hum. All right. We'll just see if it wants to take its time and do its thing. But it took the whole break so far, so I'm not hopeful. Uh, so here's what I know about Necrosmith 2 so far. Developed and published by Alawar. Launched uh, just a couple days ago. Five days ago. Congrats on your launch on PC and Mac. Like a dead man reanimated by dark sorcery, the Necromancer Simulator is back. Give the undead the ability to fly over mountains and swim across rivers, explore a fully generated world at night, and fend off enemy hordes during the day. Start a new, um, life. There it is. Uh, let's see. Uh, I did not, STS. If you could sh shoot me a reminder in Discord to do that next stream, that would be great. Uh, fitness dude, I'll do another stretch, but I just gotta, we just took a BRB, so. The stretching is, is A-okay, thank you. Uh, okay. Assemble your undead from the body parts of various fantasy races, unlocking countless combination of attacks and skills, giving them different abilities to overcome obstacles, upgrade the tower to give it a unique look and structure, and build necro labs for growing body parts that will give you powerful spells, and enhance your undead warrior to fight the enemy. Explore dozens of biomes in a procedurally generated world and view the conquered territories on the map. All right, so it looks like I am going to do a control alt believe here on the gaming PC. And I, so I'm going to switch things over to just chatting while that's happening. There we go. Just chatting while we wait for that. Because, yes, yes, yes. Because the gaming PC had a little hiccup. You know what I can do while we're waiting for that is talk about a game that I was going to talk about towards the end of today's gong show. But this is actually a perfect, perfect opportunity to do it. So, in my hands right now, I know gong show is usually all about indie video games. But sometimes I like to show indie board games as well. So this is a game called Fluffy Dragons that the game developers were nice enough to send me a copy of. This is going to be Kickstartered soon-ish. Uh, and I can share the Kickstarter link in chat for those of you who are interested. But basically, here we go. Um, this is Fluffy Dragons by Lamp Games. You can see it right there. And it's a tabletop board game uh, that's all about betting and bluffing. So you use the force of the elements to fight your fluffiest enemies to collect the most gems. You're in just for the name. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what we got. So just to show you some of the card art and pieces that come with it. So it looks like here you've got different gems and different cute little critters. But basically in this game... You are a dragon, you play as a dragon, and you're using the elements to fight fluffy enemies and collect gems. And the goal is to get the most loot, which makes sense because you're a dragon, right? Here's some other colors that you have. Colors and gems. So the sneakiest dragons get the best rewards. And I say sneaky because there is a bluffing element to this. And if you run out of gems, you're then out of the game. But look at how cute these cards are. I kind of like the artwork on the front, right? Mm-hmm. 
But like really, really nice. So you get all these different cards. There's all this. Oh, look at this one. Ooh, ah, you said the red one's really cute. They look kind of like Pokemon. They do a little bit. Um, and then you got this little game board as well. Now, I haven't had a chance to play this yet. Um, my plan is to play it with Nate and Logan. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you play. You're a dragon and you want to bluff your way into getting the most loot. You got these little meeples and these little gems. Um, and also, they said... Uh, thank you so much uh, for checking it out. Reminder, this is not a final version of the game. All the meeples will be wooden and screen printed. Some of the artwork will be updated. Um, and some gameplay might be slightly changed as we play test it more. But overall, you know how I feel about supporting indie games. And so when I found out there was a cute dragon tabletop game indie coming out, I was like, well, we're the dragon riders. We obviously have to check that out it's for two to five players it says each game takes about 10 to 25 minutes and it's for ages eight plus so if any of you want to check it out for yourself i'm going to put the link in chat fluffy dragons kickstarter link and the, the kickstarter is not open yet but you can check that out and click like notify me when the kickstarter goes live because hopefully it will be going live pretty soon but yeah i thought this was super cute and i'm excited to play test it so lamp games thank you for sending this so that I can play test it with my fam. You're amazing. I'm excited to check it out. Okay. So that was Fluffy Dragons. And then once we get the PC back up and going, I've got three more video games to show today. But just to recap what we've covered so far, we started off today playing Of Life and Land by Kurzovin, which was a gong show winner. Then we played a game called Rooster, which was shown at GDC, which was definitely a mood. It was definitely a sweet little hidden object, little puzzle type of game, um, but overall not a gong show winner today. Then we played Acolyte of the Altar, but it was really more of a feature because we had covered it before, but it's now officially launched, which was great. So because it was just a feature, it doesn't make the poll. And then we played Bears in Space from Broadside Games and Raven's Court, and that was a gong show winner. So, so far we're looking at Of Life and Land and Bears in Space up for the ultimate gong show votes today. So keep those in mind. Okay. Oh, Windows. No, I don't want Edge to be my browser. Thank you for offering. Nor do I want to sign up for Microsoft 365, but thank you for offering again. Tang says, so far I'm voting for bears. <laughs> okay. Let's see if Necrosmith 2 wants to work for us this time. I think last time Necrosmith 2 was like, hey, you've got an ultra wide and I don't know what to do with that. Maybe that's not what it was saying, but that's the impression I got for sure. Let's see if it'll work. Mm -mm -mm. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. <laughs> Finn the Fox, so considerate of them. I know, I feel the same way. All right, it says Necrosmith 2 is launching. If we can't get it to launch today, it's just going to have to get skipped, unfortunately. But I also was excited to check out the Necrosmith games, so I hope that we can get it to launch. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I'm going to cancel Necrosmith 2 for right now and move on to the next game of the showcase. And we'll circle back to it and see if it wants to cooperate a little bit later. Okay. 
see if the next game wants to load up before I change the category. Maybe my computer's like, hey, hey, why don't we be done for today? We'll see if it is. Today has been my day of uh, tech trials and tribulations anyway, so it was hardware all morning. Why don't we make it software this afternoon? I could always close Steam and try it again, but like force close Steam. It's a challenge. We just did control all beliefs, so it should be good at this point. Okay, I closed Steam. It's trying to reopen Steam. <laughs> No, 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 Steam. I want you to be done for a second, my dude. I need you to, like, take a little break. Take a little break, see? Exit Steam. Now it's finally trying to launch Necrosmith 2. Okie dokie. Oh, nope, it's not. Lo it's launching the other game. <laughs> All right. All right, folks, from Moonatic Studios and Man Maniac Panda Games comes one last breath. Steam was just confused. It's fine. Here you go. One last breath launched, launched just a few days ago on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Here's what I know about it. The Earth is sick and we are the disease. All hope rests on Gaia, a powerful being born from Mother Nature's last breath. Use her abilities to alter the environment, escape from dangerous creatures, solve thoughtful puzzles, and survive in this dying world. It does say controllers recommended, so let me quickly grab one. Uh, it's set in a post-apocalyptic 2.5D world. Create paths using trunks, summon vines to hang in between gaps, and solve puzzles using your powers to save our planet. Uncover hidden mysteries while exploring a dark and desolate world. Oh, okay, let me get it. Sorry, my room's a bit of a mess today. Just a tiny bit of a mess. And this. Oh, that's a help plug that in. Share stream. The AI living in my computer has a poor sense of humor. I actually think it has a great sense of humor. It's just messing with me today. On different PCs, though, my hardware and software issues were not on the same PC. Okay. So now, with all that being said, the voting is open. Let's check out One Last Breath. Cat Nim Ninja says that's a cool new chair you got there, Trish. Thank you. And big thanks to Alienware for sending it. I mean, this looks beautiful so far. I'm gonna turn up the volume. Whoa, okay. Is that little creature us? Are we, we are Gaia? Okay, yes, I can control it. You look like a little naked fairy. Oh, okay, there might be falling damage, watch out. I expected to float kind of like a fairy. I didn't really float so much. Turning it up a little more. Owie. Can I jump? 
jump over or go under. I can spin in a circle. Ah, oh, there we go. Hold on. Figured it out. Maybe it was Steam finally catching up with me uh, trying to restart it. Maybe it was like, oh, yes, she wanted to shut us down. I forgot and just decided to shut everything down then. That was so meta. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was the game that crashed. I think it was Steam that crashed. So, yeah, I think maybe Steam was finally catching up with us. Let's, let's give one last breath the benefit of the doubt. It was hilarious that it happened right after we fell through the bridge. If it happens again at that same spot, we know for a fact it was one last breath. But otherwise, let's go ahead and blame Steam being wonky. If Steam even wants to launch the game now. Come on, Steam. Do your thing. It looks so pretty. I want to see more of it, please. What if that was the last breath? Gaia broke the world. Does Steam seem wonky today for you as well? It's being very funny for me right now, but here, I'm gonna switch things back to this until Steam decides to be done having its temper tantrum. <laughs> but that was really pretty while it lasted. You just posted that clip in Discord? Oh, good. Isn't Tuesday the bi-weekly update for Steam? I mean, probably. It's Patch Tuesday. They probably just deployed a new patch. Yeah, maybe. Well, like I said, if we have to end the gong show here, the gong show vote today is between Of Life and Land and Bears in Space so far. I did have three more games I wanted to showcase, including One Last Breath, but Steam gonna do whatever Steam's gonna do. Yeah, there was a pop-up right before about a cloud error with Baldur's Gate, so it definitely makes it seem suspicious, for sure. Now library, I'm looking at stuff. Can you take me back to my library, please? It still says it's mid-launching one last breath. I don't believe it. The timing was so perfect, yes. But honestly, I can't even be mad at it. Like the day that I've had today, I've just made peace with the fact that things are not going to work the way that they're supposed to work, and that's okay. Raptor Blade says, I would say, might as well restart Steam, like force close and rerun. That's what I just did. The PC knows it's getting replaced and it's fighting back. Not this PC. The gaming PC isn't getting replaced. The streaming PC is. And the streaming PC is behaving fine. The gaming PC is the one that's acting up. <laughs> Delayed April Fool's Day, for sure. Voting is still up. Yeah, everything is working great on the streaming PC. So here, I'll do a, I'll just take that away for right now. We'll get it when we <laughs> go back to the game. Maybe it's revolting because it doesn't want to lose its PC friend. Raptor Blade, right now we're voting for nothing. See, but as soon as I say cancel launching one last breath and try stopping Steam, 
it's going to launch the game again. And then it's going to give us a little bit of the game before it decides to close it. Okay, I just did cancel. Cancel launching the game. I'm going to try restarting Steam again. Exit Steam. Finishing Steam Cloud Sync, it says. Thank you, STS. I hope to. Maybe the gaming PC is jealous of the upgrades it's not getting. That's true. It could be. Vec, Vec, I'm sending everything over via an Elgato 4K 60 Pro Mark II. Um, but that's not the issue. It's not the Elgato. It's just having a moment. Shutting down Steam. We're going to restart Steam. Okay, restarting Steam. Maybe maybe Steam Patch Tuesday has worked out its shenanigans. Okay, let's try. Okay, we're going to try one last breath again. Now before it was just stuck on launching. Joe Fo says, Trisha, how many Twitch bits would it take for you to appear on Critical Role? Uh, that's not something I have any control over. You would need to ask them to invite me into an episode. I can't just like show up at their office and be like, put me on the show. They, they would need to invite me to come on the show. So I would say ask them how many Twitch bits to make that happen. That's not a me decision. Do I have any motherboard buying guides for an AM5? No, I haven't done a motherboard buying guide since I worked at Newegg, honestly. Uh, Blue Dynasty, welcome back. Hey, you have a friend who streams on Wednesdays from Disneyland? That's awesome. Yeah, nothing. Okay, one, one last breath does not want to launch. Steam might be just having a whoopsie kind of day. And there's not much I can do about that. Okay, I'm going to cancel that launch. Let's try Necrosmith 2 again. And then I have one more we can try if both of those are like having a moment. Okay, I'm going to not do Necrosmith 2 either because that doesn't seem to be working either. Uh, let's go to the last game I had today and see if that wants to launch. Or Steam's just like, we're not launching things today. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm Steam and I do what I want. It might be that kind of day. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of, um, Steam Cloud errors. For whatever reason. And I don't know what that's about. Steam might have gone the whole stream today. Oh, it might have been that Microsoft update that borked something too. You're not wrong. Either way, that sounds like a crap ton of troubleshooting to try to figure out if it was the Microsoft update, if there's something happening with Steam. No, this was like a robin egg blue. Uh, Steam has become self-aware and is jealous that Shane married Courtney. <laughs> Down Detector has a spike for Steam right now. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a little better. Maybe it's not just me. Yeah, well, it's, Steam isn't launching anything right now. I could do one more Control-Alt-Believe on the PC, but I honestly, the rest of the PC seems to be working okay. Steam won't update Helldivers 2 for you, Alec. Yeah, let's see. Steam might just have had a moment. Steam down detector. Oh yeah, user reports indicate possible problems at Steam right now. Womp womp. Although it looks like the majority of the problems were 
45 minutes ago. Mm-mm. A lot of people talking about hell divers. <laughs> and steam having an outage today. Valve is just letting out some steam. All right, I'm going to give it one more go. And see what happens. Do I still have the Zelda Master Sword? Yeah, it's right back there. Right there. Casper Van Dien wants to do a Helldivers crossover. That would be great. I'd be in full support of that. So next week, Gong Show won't be on Tuesday. It will be on Wednesday instead. Because I'll be on set all day Tuesday. But if I can't get to the last three games I wanted to show today, uh, because Steam has a mind of its own, then uh, I will go ahead and feature those three games on next week's gong show all right let's see one last breath one last try here we go yeah that's true maybe i could do offline mode go offline one last breath in offline mode i think that was it i think offline mode got it yeah. Offline mode for the win. Okay, I'm going to restart the votes. Offline mode for the win. All right, folks. Again, we're going to check out One Last Breath from Moonatic Studios and Maniac Panda Games. Just launched March 28th across multiple platforms. And you want to play with a controller. We're going to continue from that bridge we dropped off of, maybe? Okay, still starting us from the beginning. Here we go. Hi, Merrick. How are you? Welcome to the stream today. Blue Dynasty, 64 months. That's amazing. Thank you. Doing well. Logan's out of school this week. Wee! Now, it does a controller rumble every time you land, which makes me feel like I'm breaking this poor little pixie's knees. Wee! Steam just decided to have an off day, and that's fine. see anything that makes me run faster so the pacing of the game is probably preset although I can crawl under this I really like the music and I like the atmosphere so far okay here's where we fell through before and it it appeared that the game crashed but I think it was actually steam Okay, game didn't crash this time. But I did get a Steam achievement, and I wonder if the achievement is what made Steam be like, brr, I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a little shower. Ooh, nice shower. Is this my little home? Okay. My little lab. What 
do I do in here? Always check behind waterfalls. Oh. Oh no! I took out the power? How do I fix it? I didn't mean to break something in my house. Whoopsie doozle. Maybe I was supposed to break it. Maybe I'm supposed to break that. That was the waterfall one. Now maybe I gotta break the tree one. I don't know. I'm kind of getting little nightmare vibes too. Or let's see, the synopsis we got for this game was that, like, humans destroyed it. And we're trying to help Mother Nature in her one last breath. So maybe we're intentionally destroying all this tech. Bad battery. Ugh. Okay, there's our little nightmare vibe. Keep out. Did you hear that? You that was creepy. Have returned. Hi, Joker Joe. Oh, there's like some foxes playing amidst all this trash. Oh, that's one of the things that was dead. Oh, it's terrifying looking. It's like people with their rib cages all poking out. Okay, definite little nightmare vibes. I have to hide from those things. Oh, gosh. I was expecting a cute game about saving the environment. Not terrifying game. Hi, Fox. I hope that Fox is a friend. Do you, do you need something, buddy? Can I pet Fox? No bikes? Okay, there appear to be lockers. Can I like go under? No. Whoa. I'm stuck. It's a glitch. Uh, jump up on top of this oven thing. But then where to? Oh, maybe I gotta push it. Can I push it? Some yes, I can. And I see one of those zombie things in the background. Uh oh, hope it doesn't see me. just banging its head against a tree? Weird. Okay. Now what? Oh, hey, little buddy, I know. How do I get up there with you? Is there something I could have pushed over here, maybe? Or maybe I can, like, pull this out? Yes. Okay. After our many steam hiccups, one last breath. 
got one last chance and made it as a gong show winner today. Super, super congrats on your win, Moonatic Studios and Maniac Panda Games. This game is not at all what I was expecting. And I like it a lot. What's that say? Private property, no trespassing, keep out. Okay, this little friendo is going to show me where to go. In this log. I mean, do the scary ribcage people eat animals? They must, right? Oh, nature is... I am one with nature. Nature is one with me. We are communing. When I touched this, it showed me all that. Uh, can I swing on this, maybe? Nope. Nope. Oh, no. Her death scream was so sad. Maybe I have to go back and light the other one? I don't think I can. Now what is the puzzle it's trying to get me to figure out? I think I gotta swing across that. Maybe I have to... No, it doesn't appear that there's a way for me to go on that lower ledge. Nope. Oh, inside's great, yeah. Inside and Limbo are both great. away to like I'm just gonna backtrack a little to see if there's something I missed there's no double jump yet but that's a good guess Rob can I like become the animal somehow I've got like more of the green goo on me now. But I can only go left and right. It won't let me go up or down. do that it just shows me that yeah I don't know I've tried jumping and pressing different buttons and I'm not exactly sure what I need to do summon vines it says okay one more time to see if we can figure out how we're supposed to summon a vine
You must need to find an object first. Maybe look up controllers. Yeah, let's see. Climb, move, crouch, and interact. Yeah, that's it. When I interact with the plant, it gives me that view. And if I go back here to this one, I'm not near enough to it to interact with it. It doesn't let me interact with that from there. It makes that ding and shows me that. Maybe I can just like... Interact from here. Crouch and interact. Maybe. I'm going to try one more time jumping and interacting. Nope. All right. Well, I'm not sure how to progress past this point. But, folks, if you want to play one last breath for yourself, from uh, you can follow them at Katniss Games from Mo Munatic Studios, Maniac Panda Games, and Katniss Games. There it is. A gong show winner today. Please keep that in mind when voting at the end of the day. All right. Let's go ahead now back to Necrosmith 2, now that we can load up games in offline mode on Steam, hopefully with no issue, since Steam is having a bit of a, a bit of a day, if you will. Now Necrosmith 2 is also having an issue with my ultra wide, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, that last one, that was like a very gloomy feeling game. Smith too. Here we go. There is a saying, the first time is an accident, the second is a mistake, the third is a pattern. But that's only relevant for those who make mistakes. The first time we did end up here by accident. But I did some research before the second time. There can be no mistake. Here we are again, and that feeling of being watched returns. I don't think I've played that at all yet, Merrick. The gears are turning, but this time I know the pattern. Necrosmith, you were right. Necromancer and Blacksmith. So this is Necrosmith 2. Necrosmith 2 uh, just launched, it looks like five days ago. Five or six days ago. Um, and it says, like a dead man reanimated by dark sorcery, the Necromancer Simulator is back. So let's go ahead and check it out. The voting is now open. generator oh I guess I don't have any money to do any of that yet so we just have to play why are we just like dancing that's just our dance you know portal disc play would you like to start the tutorial yes please on the arcane enchanter. Assemble the first dead by filling in all the slots. Okay, I guess I gotta... Assembling the dead. Hover over the body part, hold left mouse button and drag the body part to the appropriate slot or just double click on it. Got two legs, a head, revive. I made a skelly. Skeleton half-breed. Okay, now release your dead from the tower to explore the lands and collect resources. Okay, release. A 
assemble and revive four more dead. Experiment with combinations of body parts to see the results. Oh wow, look, he's going. He's doing his thing. So I'll put a main pad on and a wand. A skelly leg, uh, an orc skelly leg, orc skelly body, or regular, regular skelly body. And one more hand. Revive. Um, you have several orders at your disposal that influence the behavior of the dead. To find out how an order will affect the behavior of the animated dead, hover your cursor over it. To change an order, click on the corresponding icon. Collect resources. Defend. Protect. Um, attack enemies or attack layers. I think we're still collecting resources. Because our guy's doing pretty well. Um, okay. Whoa, is that an enemy? When your dead approaches similar buildings on the map, you gain control over them. From then on, the captured object will generate mana, ore, gold, and body parts at the start of every night. Okay. So I guess I can move around and see. This guy's doing great. What about my other friend? Did I not release my other friend? Release my other friend. There we go. Now I got two friends. Can I zoom out? I can. In daytime, your enemies emerge from their lairs and move towards your tower. Bear that in mind as you plan that when to release your dead. Because I guess they get attacked in daytime. Oh, look at this. From now on, you will be able to release your dead out of any portal you find, not just the tower. To do this, select the desired portal in the, portal in the release menu. Okay. So let's get a fighter. Oh, that's another left arm now. Your dead stumbled upon an enemy lair. In daylight, enemies emerge from these buildings to attack your tower. Don't love that. We've got a skelly head. Zombie arm with sword. Another skelly leg. Your dead have met their first enemy. The enemies will try to kill your dead and destroy the tower. All right, well, I obviously can't let that happen, so let me defend the tower. Revive. Release. Okay, where are they coming from now? Oh, from up there. Okay, well, I've got to defend the tower guy right here. Hopefully, he's going to kick some booty while these guys are doing their jobs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be good. Can I, like, change his orders? Control dead. Control its movements using W, A, S, and D. To turn off control, right click. Oh, I'm going to control him real quick, see, like. Get some of these scorpions. Night has fallen. At nighttime, new body parts appear in the tower and all the buildings captured by your dead generate income. At night, enemies grow weaker and stay in their lairs. I wouldn't say mini Diablo, nor would I say vampire survivors. Uh, based on, I, I would say more like, I don't know, maybe like a hero playing magic almost. Oh, here, I need that guy to go to the one thing again. Uh, revive and release of the tower. So I'm gonna have multiple people helping to defend the tower now. You found an upgrade blueprint for the tower. To view all available upgrade blueprints, click on the ribbon. Okay. Hmm. Here you can build tower upgrades using the blueprints you found. Orc burial mounds. Remember that you need ore for construction. Do I have enough ore? I don't know that I do. Okay. That person's still collecting. This person's still collecting resources. Got some ore at nightfall. I don't know where I see how much ore I've collected, though. Ore is top left. There we go. Thank you. Built. Okay, thank you. 
So I just upgraded a bit. And my tower guys are defending well. Can I heal them? Revive dead. I can make more. Whoa, a mantis head. He's very slow, but he spits acid. He spits acid. We'll give him another ranged weapon and maybe an axe as well. Uh, orc leg, health and speed. Uh, I want him... Oh, I messed up. That's all right. I'm gonna have him go out of the tower because I said he'd defend the tower. Okay, here's my guys. Hover over a dead icon to open its parameters. So maybe I can, like, change it there. Oh, I can kill one if I need to. That guy's collecting resources. That guy's collecting resources. They're doing great. Um, try replacing the order of the selected dead with a different one. Uh, okay, let's do that one. Can do that. Interesting. You can also take control of them in the dead control menu. To do this, click control. Oh, the Yoki. So I don't think I can make any more bad guys just yet. And with that, y'all have declared Necrosmith 2 a winner. Big congrats to Alawar on your win. Whoa, or skeleton head was cool enough. Roller skates increases the speed of creatures the player controls by 50%. Roller skates are great. Work leg. Zombie leg. We got a work leg. Health and speed. Health and speed. Okay, that should be better. Okay, it looks like one of my dudes is collecting. Got home. Daytime. I mean, that mantis said this bit is pretty intense. I can take out this friend, though. Because my new guys are way more powerful. Yeah, this guy. Uh oh, what's this? What's, what's my. Upgrade anything else yet? I don't have enough. Oh, just more enemies in there. With this guy. How did I get to where it would let me like, kill them and stuff? Maybe I can't do it in the middle of the day. dead with defend. I have all, a million of them already, dude. Active pause. Oh, if you need some time to think, you can pause. Okay. Okay. 
I can make a magic user right around there, but I feel like they're going to be a little squishy. Do I have any other magic user type shenanigans? Uh... One more arm. I could do a rusty crossbow or a mace could be cool. I don't know what's gonna be okay with. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just do that. Uh, I'm gonna revive this person also to help defend the tower and unpause, I guess. I mean, my guys seem to be defending the tower pretty well. Collect all the food. Okay, it's almost daytime. Going to collect all the food and stuff. This is interesting. Hi, Amber. How are you? Welcome. So I'm going to zoom out for my castle here. I saw all my scouts didn't make it. So I'm just going to make some skellies. With a little bit more armor. But I'm going to make this one just black. And I'm going to have them release at that portal to go collect stuff. I am releasing them during the daytime, but it's going to be nice soon, so. The bad guy should stop spawning. Whoa, what happened to all, excuse me, all my guys died? How did that happen? Holy cow. Alright, well, I guess we gotta... Man, while I was creating that one dude. Survive release. I mean, he's pretty cool looking though. This guy, this guy. Let's get some big, beefy arms up in this joint. Survive. Oh, I didn't want him to release there. Release there. Maybe this super armored dude. I feel like that scaled really fast. I don't know about y'all. make at least one more. Okay, unpause. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're just totally owning my dudes. I feel like this is the end of the tutorial on purpose. All my defenders just got eaten. Well, that's the end of the tutorial because my tower is going down. But, folks, you know, it didn't go down. Necrosmith 2 in the gong show voting today. Congrats again to Alawar on your gong show win. All right. I do have one more game that I'm going to feature today. Again, shout out to Steam and Offline Mode for being the real VIP today. The real VIP today. Okay. Boop. And let's see if it has a Twitch category. I bet it does. Okay. The last game that we are checking out today is Pepper Grinder. Pepper Grinder uh, is developed by Eric, I, or Eric. I hope I said it correctly. Uh, published by Devolver Digital, just launched a few days ago as well on PC. There is a free demo on Steam if you want to check it out. It also launched on Nintendo Switch. Pepper Grinder is an action-packed 2D pirate adventure blending traditional platforming with an alternate drilling mode that allows you to dive in and out of the earth like a dolphin swims through water. Fly through a colorfully animated world with precise movements, fluid drilling, and thrilling leaps. 
chew through the world with Grinder and find new drill bits to ramp up the chaos and solve clever puzzles. Pepper Grinder. Turning that music down a little because it's a bit intense. And with all that said, the voting is now open. Junior Dax says, haven't we seen this one before? Not that I know of. The name sounded familiar to me too. But I don't remember any of this. There was a game I was thinking of uh, that like you were a girl and your yo-yo was named something like that. So it was like Pepper Grinder, but you were Pepper and your yo-yo was named Grinder. But I'm definitely thinking of something else. But I think this was also in a Nintendo Direct. Oh boy. Now we got our drill. Right trigger is to drill. Oh, I see, and I can point the drill in different directions. Neat, okay. Ah. Destroy those vases. Oh. That's kind of fun. It's like sand drilling. Can I get these? Wee! Wee! Oh, that was so close. All right, let's try it again. There we go. Woo! Oh, no. Oh no, we're getting, is that like a time slowing bug or are we, we might be getting a freeze. It was cool until it froze. Rut row. Doing it live, friends. Great until it wasn't. I can still hear it. So, like, things are still happening in the game. We just can't see them. Today is a very wonky gong show. It's been that kind of day, y'all. It has been that kind of day. And now I've got nothing on that display. Is it Friday the 13th or something? Y'all, I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? We're going to hold Pepper Grinder till next week when it's not a day where everything wants to bork. So I'm going to go ahead and add that into next week. Pepper Grinder Revisit due to tech difficulties. I'm just making a little note of that for myself right now because I don't even know what's happening. It's just being really strange. What happened before with Acolyte of the Altar? Uh, just we realized we had covered it already. Nothing happened with it tech-wise. No, the first half of the show tech-wise went totally fine. Chicago, we'll take a look at Pepper Grinder next week. Frequency punch, you said you're so good at keeping it together. I would be so pissed. Honestly, it's just the kind of day that I've had overall today with all tech. It's just, it's been a thing. It's been, with all hardware and software. Today is a wonky day. It's like, hey, Trisha, 
you went away for four days and you're getting ready to go again for more days. How dare you try to get work done in between the two? How dare you? Joker Joe said, it's not me. Steam is having an outage. It's got to be at this point. I don't know what's happening. But Steam in offline mode worked for a little while at least. So we got done what we got done. And like I said, we'll revisit Pepper Grinder next week. But in the meantime, the games that we played today include... There we go. Here, I'll do a exit game. Just in case y'all want to remember what they looked like, I'll show you here too. Oh, Steam Cloud out of date is what everything's saying. Yeah, I know. I know, boo. I know. Okay, let me... <laughs> Just to show you the games that are up for voting today. First off, we've got Of Life and Land. Of Life and Land, where it was a settlement building strategy game. That is going to make the Gong Show Ultimate poll today. So I'll do the poll Ultimate Gong Show winner, question mark. Of Life and Land, just entered early access today. Uh, we played a game called Rooster, shown at GDC, that was not a Gong Show winner today. We took a look, a very brief look at Acolyte of the Altar uh, that we previously looked at on the Gong Show, so it wasn't eligible for voting today. We played Bears in Space, which was a hilarious over-the-top bullet hell FPS about bears in space. We played Necrosmith 2, and uh, here, wait, 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 Bears in Space, there it is, Bears in Space. Necrosmith 2. Where we're assembling guys and then sending them out to do our bidding. And then we also played One Last Breath. Which everyone said was kind of reminiscent of Inside and Limbo. And that was a gong show winner today. And that's it. So our poll today is between Of Life and Land, Bears in Space, Necrosmith 2, and One Last Breath. Now keep in mind... Whatever you vote for in the poll today is not only going to be featured in a gong show roundup uh, for the month on YouTube, but also will make it to our next semi-final-ish gong show stravaganza. Gong stravaganza. <laughs> if you will. If you don't see the poll at the top of chat right now, just give a little refresh and you should see it. But make your opinion heard. Make your opinion heard. Bears in Space was dumb fun, says Dante, and I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah, Steam is having a moment today. It's just that kind of day. Steam is on spring break, I think. So here, let me put it back to just chatting. I see Chicago and Bigger on the inside. You both already got your giveaway codes. And you know what? While you're voting, I could actually go ahead and do our Game On Request Spin Wheel for March since we have the time. Okay, so the Game On Requests we had for March include... Let me go ahead and get that Spin Wheel set up. I don't typically do that live, but since we have time... Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Also, if DJ Davey or Cody Drinks Coffee are in chat, uh, I will try to message you based on what you'd like to do with your embarrassing headshot redemptions. All right, I see here. No, no, not that. There we go. All right, I'm just going to pull this over so that I can see chat at the same time and the poll at the same time. Come Cabbage says today is maintenance day we for Steam. An army. So it appears. So it appears. Oh goodness, be careful catnip with the tornado warning. That's no joke. Alright, so here's what we've got for the spin wheel. Keep those votes coming in folks. It looks like one last breath. Has a size, or excuse me, uh, Bears in Space has a sizable lead right now. 
Get your votes in. Okay, so our Game On Request Redemptions for March include Stray Gods from Critter Nation, mm, Dragon's Quest Eleven from Carmelita. I'll just put DQ Eleven. Then we've got Penny's Big Breakaway from P.S. Weech. And while I'm going to pause that for a moment to say a big congratulation to Bears in Space, which was our ultimate gong show winner today. Congratulations to Bears in Space on your gong show win. You will make it to the gong stravaganza semifinals. Some people are saying polls were bugged for you too. No. Why is everything borked today? All right. So Penny's big breakaway. I'm just going to call it Penny's for the spin wheel so we can see. That was from PS Weech. Then we had Assassin's Creed Nexus VR. AC Nexus VR. That was a redemption from STS. Then we had mm, 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 mm. Stray Gods again from Frequency Punch, which means I'm going to make that a double, so a double-sized one. And then two hours ago is Stacklands, but that's going to go into the April. So let me go ahead and just make Stray Gods a, dub a double entry. Okay. And that should, if I hit save settings. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. Spin wheel. Let's see if it looks right. Okay. Nope, not DQ11 that gets the double. Stray Gods gets the double. Oh, boy. Right? That's the one that had the double? Hi, they're all going to laugh. Yeah, I guess Tuesday is just, today is software go boom day, apparently. Okay, so let's try this again. There we go. Stray Gods gets the double. We've got DQ11, Penny's Big Breakaway, Assassin's uh, Nexus VR. Those are the options. So here we go. I'm going to spin that spin wheel for March. Stray Gods! <laughs> Woo! Congratulations to both Frequency Punch and Critter Nation. I'll put you both down. We will be playing more Stray Gods on stream, thanks to y'all. All right, let me go ahead and get those redemptions fulfilled. Boom. Thank you all so much for your game on request. Air horn. Critter Nation says, OMG, it's finally won. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Also, exempt if you're here, I need to know your Steam name so I can Steam friend you, my friend. Unless it's already worked. I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. Uh, okay. Today has been a hilarious day of wackiness. It should be a wacky Wednesday, but it's not. It's a gong show Tuesday. Um, and I'm so glad that Lion to you redeemed a hug because I need one today too. <laughs> oh, this hug is for everyone who is having an otherwise chaotic day like I am. Or, you know, maybe if you just need a hug today, this is for you. So thank you. Thank you for your hugs and your support, and I'm being a mirror and showing them right back to you. Um, now that I'm finished the stream, I am going to, woo, shut all of this wild business down. <laughs> Borked Tuesday is what we'll call it. 
Uh, I won't be streaming tomorrow or Thursday because Nate and I are going to take Logan to Disneyland and Disney California Adventure for two days since it's still his spring break. Um, and then I will be back on Friday, hopefully, with a Nintendo Weekly, should the tech gods <laughs> deem to let it be so. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. That fail was 100% it, my face. Definitely for surezies. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go deal with what's back here. Shut down what's in here. And I will see you all hopefully on a refreshed Friday fun day. <laughs> all right, friends. Talk soon. Bye. <laughs> ay, ay, ay.